Welcome back to the shop. Today we have a cotton scale. Uh, I've sort of got this redneck wind chime going on just to demonstrate. This uh, scale has just a weight on the end and uh, I imagine there's some gradations here and we'll be able to use my scale later on and see if we need to calibrate it any way shape or form. But, uh, but anyway, I think it's going to be a neat restoration. Uh, we're going to have a cameo today, and the sandblaster is going to be my brother. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so we've, that was, a, that was a cameo by my brother and a sandblaster, my older brother Nick, I got two brothers, and the older one's Nick, the younger one's Clay. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, Nick did a great job with the sandblaster, everything got cleaned up quite nicely. So what I'm going to do now is try to test and see the accuracy of this cotton scale. I've got a regular old Amazon cheapo, I think this is rated to, what, 300 kilograms, 640 pounds or something like that, 680 pounds, whatever that is. But I've got a cleaner and degreaser thing, the Formula 88 stuff that I use in the spray bottle. Uh, it's pretty good stuff. It's cheap. Uh, it works good. But uh, but anyway, it's my standard today. It weighs 8.8 .8 pounds. So let's see what the cotton scale says. There we go. User error. Alright, so. So anyway, now the scale is, and we got 8.8 .8 pounds, so let's just start at 5, and this should be horizontal when it's at the right weight. Swinging isn't helping. So it's still slightly up that way. Let's go to 8. Still... Alright, it seems to be, it doesn't seem to have the same, I, I, you know, there probably should be a level on here also to help eyeball it, and as much as I can tell, I mean, it's, it's enough that I can't really tell the difference between 8 and 9, so for a rough categorization of, of units, you know that this is somewhere between 8 and 9, because 10... It's sort of an obvious 
overshot. Seven, sort of obvious. But eight and nine, to me, are indistinguishable. So, but, so, anyway, this, I, and I'm not sure what the average, most scales don't work well on either end of the range, so this has like two pounds to 14 and a half pounds, maybe 15. So this is like the sweet spot when the scale should be most accurate. So we've got to factor in a couple different things. One, rust has been an issue, so maybe a couple ounces one way or the other might factor in, but it doesn't seem to be a huge difference with this. But uh, but anyway, I mean, in terms of a... You know, maybe I can see a little bit of a difference. So, you know, eight and a half, and, uh, and it said 8.8. .8. I don't know if that's... Actually, hold on, let me go back and do a little... Oh, uh, actually. Alright, so this is tenths. It's eight point, it is eight point eight, not eight pounds, eight ounces. Because it would be split right into the difference if it was eight pounds, eight ounces, you know, it would be right at eight and a half. Uh, but because it's sort of eight tenths, you know, we're talking just over 75%. So theoretically, that is the perfect, if I had a little bubble scale, we'd be able to tell for sure. But, uh, Anyway, that's the cotton scale. I'm going to go ahead and shellac it and uh, hang it up on the wall. It did sort of an interesting little piece of Americana. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick little restoration today. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please like, subscribe, and as always, if you got any comments, I'd like to hear them. Have a good day.